Email marketing is one of the most essential things to have in an e-commerce business and that's not just with Shopify dropshipping, that's with all types of online businesses and even physical businesses. Building an email list allows you to market to these people through email, offering them extra products or services that they can then purchase again from your website. It is so important to have repeat customers with your business these days due to the rise in marketing costs. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some important tips for email marketing and how you can master it ready for for this Q4 in 2022, 2023 and beyond as well. Now just before we do get started I'll leave links to my Twitter and Instagram in the description down below. I do also have a Google Ads agency. We run and grow Google Ads for e-commerce clients so if you are struggling just hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. We can definitely help with that. Now the first thing I want to mention is the particular software that I personally use for email marketing with Shopify and that is Clavio. I will leave a link down below for Clavio. Now these integrate seamlessly with Shopify. It allows you to collect emails, send out emails and they even have SMS marketing as well but that's a topic for another video. Now firstly you want to be building your email lists. Now you can't email market if you've got nobody's email addresses. Now obviously there's a variety of ways you can get these. If you're already an existing company or business and don't actually have any email marketing software you still have your existing customers email addresses you will already have some data there such as your customers such as abandoned checkouts repeat customers those sort of things as well but essentially what you want to do is get an email capture sign up on your website this can be anything from a pop-out box to a spin the wheel type game that was a thing of the past the whole spin the wheel get to get a discount code thing when you enter your email addresses it may still work for you today but for me it definitely worked about four years ago not anymore for me it is just a simple pop-up email box all I do on my websites is ask a customer to enter the email address and in exchange for that they get a discount on their first purchase and this will be emailed to them once they enter the email address and also the code will be made visible on the website to them once they have uh, completed that step. There are many examples of email pop-ups. I'll throw a few images up on screen now of some examples that you guys can use as well. You could offer things like free shipping or buy one, get one free. It just depends on your business. For me, I just offer a very small discount for the customer's first order. Now, just before we move any further, I am gonna quickly jump into to my computer here just to show you my Clavio account for my UK website you can see here in the last 30 days we have generated uh, 9,770 pounds from email marketing which accounts for roughly 12% of my revenue I know a lot of businesses email marketing can contribute to up to 30 to 40 percent but for me it is only 12 percent but this number is going up every month because I am putting a lot more time and effort into email marketing about three four months ago this number here was only about four percent so it's nice to see a free x in results already I'm just simply showing you this to show you that I am currently using email marketing and that it can give you very good results and I'm only on a plan on Clavio that costs around $150 a month which is very good considering in return I'm getting almost a $10,000 or 10,000 pounds, shall I say, return each month. Now, once you begin to collect these emails from your customers or potential customers, you will want to be segmenting these people into separate lists because you don't want to be sending out emails to every single person in one go. That's not the way to do it. You'll end up triggering spam filters and your emails will end up just going into everyone's spam folder. And in the long term, that is really not going to do you any favors. So you can segment your list into um, different things, such as I've got some examples here that I use. I have a email list which um, includes repeat customers. So you can set up on Clavio parameters. I've got an email list that only includes people that have purchased two or more times on my website. This is a very good email list to market to because they know your brand well. They've bought more than once on your website and the odds of them coming back are a lot higher than someone who's only ordered once or has never ordered at all. So it is a very engaged email list and if you are already email marketing, I advise you to make this list if you haven't already. Another one is a minimum spend list. I have different um, variants of these so for example, I have an email list of customers that have spent a minimum of £100 or dollars on my website and that can be spread across multiple orders or you can even up that so you can have your almost very VIP customers 
and make a list out of that. For example, uh, people who have spent more than $500 on your website. Again, it, it is all about creating engaged lists. So then you can market appropriately to them from email and offer them exclusive things as well. I like to give my VIP customers a bit more of a deal and a discount because obviously they keep coming back and purchasing. Another list idea is people who have signed up to your um, sign up form that we spoke about earlier and haven't ordered yet. Now this is a good group of people because it already shows they've shown interest in your website by entering their email address to get a discount code, but they haven't quite taken that next step to place an order. It is often good just to market to these people every month or so, giving them a bit of a reminder if you like, you know, to come back and order. But obviously I'll talk about it later in this video. They already do receive automated emails after they sign up through something called automated email flows, but I'll touch on that in a minute. And finally, a good example is people who have purchased certain products. Again, this helps you market relevant content to these people. Say if you've got a gym website and you've got male and female products, you could segment an email list to people who have only purchased women gym products, and then you can make a list, again, similar to the women, but you can make a list that of people that have only purchased gym products for men. And obviously you can see where I'm going with this. It's probably the best way to describe it actually in terms of gender. You can market to the females, female gym products, and then to the males or men. You can then market products you know that only guys are gonna wear as well. So it's all about giving relevant content to the relevant people through email and not just spamming everyone with the same old, you know, cheesy salesy email because it really doesn't work. Now with email marketing, you have uh, two options. You have email campaigns or you have email flows. Campaign emails are essentially where you can market your products or offer some value to your customers. Whereas flows are emails that are automatically sent to people once they perform a certain action, such as abandon checkout or sign up to your email uh, flow or even purchase as well. So a good example for a email campaign is a product announcement or a Black Friday sale announcement. I'm mentioning that because Black Friday is in a couple of months time. It is very good to build hype for an upcoming release. If you've got a new products coming out in a few weeks time it is good to start to tease people with that through email perhaps get them to sign up to a waiting list so then you can market to that list again or to let people know what products are going to be on sale for example on black friday what discounts you are going to be offering don't give them a discount yet just make sure you're making those customers aware that there is going to be a sale happening and that they can take advantage of it on Black Friday. It helps you keep your brand relevant to the customers, keeps your brand in their mind and the odds of them coming back are obviously greater if you do that. And like I said at the start, don't just send spammy emails asking people to buy your product. It really doesn't work. Offering some value as well within your emails is really helpful, especially if you've got a niche website. You know, offer some tips on uh, whatever niche it is. Again, if you do a gym website, you can offer some free exercise guides or diet plans within your emails. I know it's something people might, might not necessarily want. It is a good thing to add. It doesn't cost you anything and these people will see it as free value. And another thing to remember is don't email people too frequently because if you're sending emails four or five times a week to the same people, they'll stop opening your emails. They'll get, they'll get sick of you. They'll, you know, block your email. They'll unsubscribe to your email list. It just won't end well. You know, if we cut back here to my Clavio, 12% of obviously revenue is from emails. 10% of that is from flows and only 2% is from email campaigns. I don't send too many email campaigns. I probably don't send enough. But if I sent too many, this number would be even lower because people are just going to get sick of your brand if you are constantly spamming them with emails, providing no value at all, and literally just begging them, begging these people to order. So you've got to be tactical about it. Perhaps you can make an email schedule, you know, make a note of what emails are going to be sent out when. You can send a lot of emails to different people each day. Like I said earlier, send, a, send one email to a certain list and then send another email to another list. Just don't send the same emails or similar emails to the same order audiences over and over again because it literally won't do anything for you okay now email flows like i said automated email flows are very very good they require no work really once you've set them up again you don't want to be offering discounts and things like that in every single email an email flow that does really well for me is a post purchase sort of customer reassurance email so once someone places an order they'll receive a series of three or four emails over the next sort of seven to ten days 
just letting them know that their order is in transit and it is on the way and that they will be receiving it soon. This also reduces customer emails and complaints because they're receiving these emails that are updating them about their order, just providing them with some reassurance that you know their order is going to be with them soon. I don't offer them any products, any discounts in these emails, but they do actually generate me some extra revenue as well just on the side and that's without actually selling them anything in the emails another one you can obviously set up is an abandoned cart flow allows you to bring people back to the checkout page to complete their orders you know someone might make it to your checkout page but they end up having to do something else like cook dinner go to a meeting that sort of thing then if you hit them with a few emails over the next couple of days it will it will likely bring them back to your checkout page so they then can complete their order that is the most popular um, email email flow I think out there obviously it's the most common sense one but you can be creative with other things as well such as a customer win back flow this is essentially a flow that I have on both of my sites I believe and essentially 90 days after someone places an order they'll receive an email again like a little reminder you know come back we've got some new releases and things like that it ultimately improves your return customer rate and like I said at the start this is such an important thing so I guess the point of this video is don't just make a Clavio account and set up your basic abandoned cart flow. Be creative, spend some time on it, make abandoned cart flows more detailed, make your sign up flow as well. Like I said at the start of the video, customer win back, you've got browse abandonment as well. That's quite a tricky one to set up, but you basically put a bit of code on your website that knows when someone's been on your website and then they'll receive an email, you know, an hour later saying, oh, you know, come back, look at this product again that you were looking at. Obviously, it has to be someone that's already in an existing email list. Again, a very high converting email flow for you guys to use. If you want any more detailed videos, on email marketing such as setting up a flow or a campaign example please let me know down below but please take on board some of the steps I've mentioned it will definitely help you in Q4 to increase some revenue with your business other than that I hope you found this video useful if you need any help just drop me a uh, message on Twitter or Instagram or leave a comment down below thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video